that was awesome. I uh, I definitely started ten minutes ago uh, and did not flick the uh, flick the button. So, hello, how are you? I'm embarrassed. That was that was pretty awful. Uh, I guess I can walk through all that stuff that I just did. I can't believe that. That was ten minutes. Uh, yeah. So welcome to the stream. Um, just to give a quick recap of what we're doing now, uh, we're kind of working on uh, building uh, <laughs> building a uh, uh, Django tutorial, and so I'm actually doing it to learn how to do Django um, myself. And as part of that, writing a tutorial, I went through the official docs to some degree, and I just it wasn't working for me. So I kind of backed off and tried to just build through myself. Um, and I've got um, I've I've made it all the way through once, but now I'm kind of coming back and redoing a second time through. And in that second time, I'm being a little bit more methodical about how I'm doing it and trying to make it as if I was completely new uh, to kind of the environment and to some degree programming. Um, how we could go through and basically say, okay, let me do one thing and see something happen. And let me do one other thing and see something else happen. Um, as compared to the Django tutorial, which is like, throw in these 10 pieces of code in these 10 files, and then magically something appears over here. Like I, I wasn't able, like I've got some decent experience with this stuff and I wasn't able to make the connections with what was going on without really having to backtrack myself. So that's kind of, that's kind of where I'm headed. Um, and what I'm working on for this part is uh, actually moving into adding a tutorial. So in the in the sorry, adding in templates like header and footer includes. Um, so basically, what I've got is the first the first iteration, kind of all the way down. Um, I got us just to a basic uh, home page and about page. So they're linked up with dynamic links that go back and forth. Um, but there's nothing really happening on the page yet. So the first thing I want to do is just give a little bit of a format to it. And then the next thing we'll do is start connecting up to the database to actually have uh, back and forth with data. Um, and then what'll be nice about that is by the time we do that, we can actually have a wrap around it that makes it look a little bit better than just kind of this raw, um, this raw output here. Um, so that's where we're trying to find right now is how to do um, the basics of uh, includes is what I'd call them in other languages. Uh, and so I'm just I'm just gonna bounce around a little bit um, and try and figure that out. Uh, so, cause we've got rendering, we've got the 404s, get 404, use the template system. But this is just doing output of data to the template. It's not really doing uh, like header and footer includes. So let's see what else we got. Oops, back up. Um, it's part four, write a minimal form, less code's better. Automated testing. Customize your apps, look and feel. This sounds enticing. Customize your apps, look and feel. First create a directory called static in your polls. Django for static. Static finders is static. See, and this is another thing. Like, I, this is a lot of information that would be good to have after I've done the thing. Because right now I can't tie it into anything. It's just paragraphs of text coming at me. Um, let's see. Because of how the app directory finder static finder works, you can refer to the static file in Django. Plus. Okay. Load static. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stick away from this for one second because I want to see. So that's CSS, but I want to see how you do a like a header and a footer, not with a static, but with a customizing the admin form. So not what we're looking for. Yeah, and I'm trying to look at the official tutorial to start with for the most part, um, just to see if I can pull stuff out of it. Uh, here, uh, here we go, maybe templates directory.
partially because I'm curious too. Like I, I'm sure I could Google through this stuff and find it like super fast, but um, I'm interested for whatever reason in trying to do it through the uh, through the official tutorial at least to give it a, a shot. Clock running. Okay, here we go. This might be the thing. That song bores me. This one probably will too, but whatever. Create templates. So hang on a second. Customize the admin look and feel. Customize your application templates. Do super with us. But if theirs was empty by default, how did Django then find the admin's template? Applications not very complex. Hmm. So does this work for All right, I'm gonna bounce over to the uh, Django or the Mozilla one for a second. I've kind of been doing this for a while, so I think I'm gonna maybe even just go straight for the Google stuff here in a minute. Um, Django header include. Let's see what that gets us. You need to find a block in base HTML and populate it in about HTML. So base HTML. Block content extends public base. This is fully explained in the tutorial. I, I'm i frustrated by those statements. And you don't even link to the specific thing in the tutorial? Come on. Uh, but let's see, where in the tutorial? Because I think that was, that's what we we're looking at, right? Block. Then edit the file salt. All right, I'm gonna try and bounce off this and then let me see if there's another working with templates. How to tango with Django, nice. Open a few of these. Template block. Okay. Recurring HTML and base template. Okay. So this is a little clearer for me. So we're going to want this, whoops, and it's templates directory, templates rango base. Now is that, who knows if that's supposed to be here. I'll try putting it in here. Study HTML. Let's see if this works. See, I've been all through the official tutorial, and like, it's it's not that obvious to me. All right, now that we've identified our base template, we can prepare for inherent templates. To do this, we need to include the templates tag to indicate what can be overwritten the base template. This is done by these blocks. Add a body block to templates files. Okay.
You also specify the default content. That's fine. Uh, if template were to inherit from the base template without employing the use of body block, the running content would kind of look something like this. Yeah, got it. Extracting further. Page not found. Oh, wah wah. Template inheritance. Extends. So they're not actually showing me how to use it. Identify the recurring parts of your page in the base template. Provide a skeleton structure of the standard page. And define a number of blocks. Create specific templates, all of which inherit from the base template. And specify the contents of each block. Cool. How do we do that? See, this this is a tough jump because all of a sudden we're jumping. Like, show me the first thing before you show me this. Extends Rango base. Now that we've created a base template with a block, we can now update the templates we've created with inherent or base. Okay. For example, let's refactor the template Rango category. To do this, first remove all repeated HTML. Okay. So let's try. Oh, where did we? So where did it put that other one? Templates Rango base. Ah, uh, so probably this is in the wrong place. Let's move this. Pages, templates, pages. Let's put a base in here. I just want to put something in here and see if we can make it connect up. Base HTML. Uh, actually, we can go ahead and put that in. That's cool. This is base. Base. Sweet. Uh, and then in our template, now that we created a base template with a block, we can update the templates we've created to inherit from the base template. For example, let's refactor the category. Do this first, remove all the repeated HTML code, leaving only HTML template and tag. Then at the beginning, put that line of code. All right, let's just see what happens if we just do that. So we're gonna go to our home page, which is here. I'm just gonna put it up top to see what happens. Um, and do pages base. Oh, and actually the other thing we wanna do is get rid of this file. Delete that one. And delete this directory since we're not using it yet. Mini windows open already. Oops, here we go. Try this. All right, what's that gonna do? This is base. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm not gonna do the notes yet. I wanna get this all the way working and I'll back it out and then do it again. Um, so, which one, this one, let's bring you over here. Block, body block. Okay, so that's how you put in So if this is the home page, we're gonna extend that, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. What's the end block looks like? Block title, category name, and block. Okay, I'm not gonna deal with that right yet. What does this do? This is base, there's a home page. Okay, so that's how you get the, the basic template going. 
that's way easier to understand than the official one. Um, so if we do, what happens if we do this? Is that gonna explode? Yeah, okay. So I wanna do, I wanna do the same process that I've been doing, which is to make a change that forces an error and then fixing the error. Um, so instead of building a thing and then calling it, Yeah, so let's let's go ahead and do that. That's a little bit of a weird way to do things, but we're gonna do it. Um, so if we go back to this, and we come here, but we delete our base. page to that <laughs> fix will be add new file at Django tutorial site pages templates pages base HTML so because right now yeah you'll get an error well actually it'd be base right The, the logic here is to kind of see where the things go that talk to you. And so this one's kind of obvious, but we'll, we're doing the same pattern the whole time. So it'll be familiar at this point. And because this one's an easy one, when you see harder ones, it, you've already got some practice with it. Um, so our new file. body block versus body. See, what's the best way to do this? Um, put this in for now and then I'll come back I'm not sure 
like what the best way actually I'm gonna drop the head we don't need that right now um, actually we can just do that right everything's gonna disappear I don't know why I keep going to that cool so that makes everything disappear whoops should make it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Let's actually put the code in that we're putting in. And now everything should disappear. being used, but we, it's being called. Yeah, I need to do something up there to give it a, So you've got something that you can see, but then all the rest of your stuff has disappeared. Whoops, so didn't do that right. Tutorial site, There's nothing in it. And then fix. Yeah, and this is where I'll have to mess around with um, like setting up the links or like getting this some actual, like making it make sense a little bit more. But right now, this is just getting it going. Um, we'll refine that. This should go back and forth, right? With tutorial set up there for our homepage. Yeah, cool. Okay. So now we can add CSS and do whatever. Oops. Add basic CSS stuff. Cool. So that's our template setup. I think if there's anything else we need to do there, um, I'll come back and add uh, add some style and just a little bit of something and like figure out a good way to like I don't know have it be links or whatever. Um, I don't want to do conditional on the links right now. 
um, you could do that, but I think it's more important at this point to kind of get to get to processing data. So we'll do that next, or we'll do that now. More to the point. Uh, let's see. Where's this? Just add this in real quick for this note. So now I'm going to go back through, and actually I'm going to just look through my prior notes um, for the base setup of this. Uh, where did I put those? Oh, they're in a they're in a different file. Uh, this is one Django tutorial part one. That's here. That's here. That's here. Doing a tutorial part one, original notes. That went to that one to go to the other one. It's on text two. All right. Now make an about page, update URLs, create the super user. Yeah, so a lot of this is going to be, actually, I'm going to do that in Sublime Text 3 because I want to have, uh, I want to be able to go back and forth between the things. I want to move that over there a little bit. Ah, you can't see it if I do that. Um, So that's the about, okay, so let's make the super user. I just want the super user ready to go. As we work through this stuff, we'll probably do it while that's running, but still. Oops, cancel. Oops. Yes. Just whatever name. You want and give it a password. You don't have to put in an email address. All right. Now here is where I'm gonna spend some time refactoring the way that this works a little bit. Because uh, what I want to do is see if I can set this up. Now I guess this is just this is just a fine way to do it. Like because the admin page is already there. If the admin page wasn't there, you could go back through this other way to do it. Um, so we'll just do this checklist the thing. Yeah, we'll just keep doing the checklist for now. I'll make up with something better later. Do 
this here, right? There we go. Add it to installed. Uh, tutorial site settings. down just copy all this stuff it's probably a better idea that's it for this section okay let's get to that so let's just copy through these it'll be a good test run I go back through and see if these uh, if, I, if this is really how I want to do this stuff what I need to do. Ah, whatever, it's fine. So, wait, 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 where am I going? Pages, checklist, models. That goes in models. Migration checklist for checklist. Whoop, something exploded. Oh, and Denser freaked out again. Try that. Is that better? Whoops, where'd you go? Ah, that's happy. Do migrate. admin again and notice that the checklist isn't there to get it to show up uh, okay yeah so you should actually do so let's do this let's get that going here and go to admin oh yeah hey why are you doing that Yeah, so I just want to burn through these notes because I think I'm going to do... I found some other stuff that I'm going to do, I think, a little bit differently with... Um, the... Views. Example, yeah, this is going to be... Whatever. We'll change this one over here. Checklist admin. So 
So that should have this going, right? Checklist items, there we go. We can add some new thing. Another new thing. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, you could do it right here. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this. Okay, so that's got the admin stuff going, so we can add them there. Now, uh, here, might as well do this. for a minute. Now let's get it on the display page. So this is where I want to do things a little differently. Create a new directory with that in it. And a view. This is where I want to invert the way that I was doing this. Because I want to start with the checklist. I want to. I want to. I want things to break and then to fix them one at a time, so we can actually walk through the process instead of just like. Because if you if you go the path that most of the tutorials I've seen do it, you make this, then you set this up, then you set this up, then you set this up, and that's the first time you can actually see a page or you can see any change at all from the stuff that you've done. Like it's all this behind the, the scenes work. It's also kind of not TDD, and so I want to. I'm trying to. Or I'm, this will be an experiment to see if we flip that, and we try it the other way. Um, so this is where it'll get a little bumpy, as expected. So first thing we're gonna do. is we're going to add actually I do want to do this um, save that let's bring another text editor into the mix what do you say um, let's see how BB Edit's doing tonight Edit is white text. So that's right. Here's the wrap, wrap please. About there. Like that. From the migrations. Yeah, got that. That's it for the section. Okay, now let's get it on the display. So I'm gonna back this up and I'm gonna start with adding this. Here. Which should explode. It's on the server. Yep. Yeah, this will be a little tedious in terms of uh, Adding the notes. 50, whatever. Uh, OK. 
kind of want that in a different window too. That'd be okay for now. I'm gonna have like five text that are open, open here in a minute. Um, I'd be less explicit with the directions right now. Um, just because I've got a good idea of the pattern here. looking for checklist URLs, right? So there's no module named checklist URLs. So now we're going to make that file. I wonder how far we should go on this. I'm gonna go all the way for a second just to see what it looks like. So save as tutorial sites, checklist, URLs. It didn't like that. Makes sense because it's not doing anything. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if it would be helpful to here. Checklist views has no, uh, I don't want to call it index, do I? What do I want to call that? That'll be okay for now. I don't need to worry about that. This is just making progress. It's fine. Um, oh, I guess the other thing we can do is I file with this. Actually, yeah. Checklist. Home page. Let's make these explicit. I guess I can do it there too. Uh, here, checklist. Home page. Oops. Yo. Import views. Yeah, views is always going to be the same thing. So that's fine. Okay, I like this. This is good. 
explicit names make sense. So we're actually coming up here. So that's our URLs. Here is our views. Should see okay. So server terminal will be happy and running at this point. But we should see. Oh, this actually, sorry, this is where I want to look into these. Generic list view. Some list of objects set by self model or self query set. Self query set can actually be more iterable items, not just query set. So, yeah, let me see. I'm going to do it this way and I want to try that other way too because I want to see if that's a better way to do things. Because some of that form stuff I was looking at, it might be. So now we need to make a templates, right? Oops, not what I meant. That's all right, we'll get in a second. Go 
tutorial site. Checklist templates. Checklist. And then put this code in. And actually what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pull checklists, pages, where's our pages? Oh no, the pages stuff isn't gonna work because it's not the high level templates. That's what we need to do. We need to figure out how to move that stuff up. second because I want to that'll not that'll fix this part of it so how I'm just gonna guess how we make this happen. Um, and then we'll look it up. So that's checklist, that's pages. Here's tutorial site. Actually, no, I'm not gonna try that. I just wanna mess with it right now. Um, I don't want to mess up. Google's so good. In the current Django, template serves as direct uh, deprecated at a templates directory at the project root. Settings, temperatures like this. That was 2016. I, so I think I saw that, that's the stuff we saw back here, right? I think it was actually in this customize. Projects templates, create a templates directory in your project directory, the one that contains managed pi. Templates can live anywhere in your file system that Django can access. Django server runs as whatever server runs. However, keeping your templates in the project is a good convention to follow. But yeah. So it wants us to put it here. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with that.
So we're gonna add this file here. And we're gonna see trail site templates base HTML. And I'll, I'll, we'll see if we can use it here. Um, oh yeah, and then, sorry, and then settings. Add a durs option in the template setting. All kinds of craziness in there. So now we've got that pages, templates. Let's get rid of this base and see what happens. And then just to make sure nothing's cached, we'll come here, top level templates, base, template site, 9,000. Did we work? No. Extends pages. Oh, okay, right, because it's page space. So then we just want to tell it to do base, right? Template space. What do we do? Which page is this one? Block branding. Wait, does it tell you how to use it? Create templates, however. Uh, template stir, yeah, we did that. There's a file system organizing, yep. Now create a directory called admin inside templates. And copy the admin base, H base site HTML from within the default Django template directory in it. Then edit the file and replace site heading for the site's own name. Not helpful. Pages, about homepage, how about this? What happens if we just do base? That worked. That worked, okay. Okay. Yeah, clean all that up. But so now we should be able to do Where's that check there and let's close all these. Except I actually want to look at the syntax one of those, right? So if we do this here, and we go back to checklist, right? But that won't show up, right? Because we have to put it inside the block call.
See, with these direct things, I can have a chance of figuring out what's happening because there's I'm looking at small pieces of code and changing one thing at a time versus like all that crap. Um, which, yes, I can figure all that stuff out. I'm literally figuring out right now, but it's just like, it's a lot of overhead. I was thinking today about like the Pearl cookbook. It's one of the ways that I learned it code and that was great because it was just like here's the thing here's the thing Here, here's a here's a thing you're after here's the recipe to do it and i really i like that a lot um um it's kind of what we're doing here excuse me so that's got our checklist it's got the page showing up now I want to look at this list view. Where'd that go? There we go. List view, a page representing a list of objects. Like, why do I need a time zone? Let's do generic article dot models article. Because right now I don't have in checklist I've got that view and I've got that model. So this is used up high. So why? So again, with my with for an example, don't throw time zone in there. Like do an example that you don't need time zone for. Pagination model article. So article list view equals list view. Example URLs. List HTML. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, so I think it looks for it in a specific place. So we're going to try this. See, so, all right, we're gonna try this in a slightly different way. Cause I wanna, I don't wanna mess with the stuff that we've got. And I think what we just, but I think this is gonna replace what we just did. So if I can find my tab here, I'm gonna close all this stuff for just a second, just to get back to base here. So this is my app URLs. So checklist URLs. list it's fine this is gonna explode I think checklist view is not defined right because in views
to unviews, we're gonna need from checklist models and our models just called checklist item okay this is gross right now but Super contacts, good. That we're not gonna worry about that. All right, we're just gonna see what happens at this point. We exploded it. Checklist view is not defined. Oops. Checklist view is still not defined. Certainly seems like it should be. That's in URLs. Got it. It's weird that that dot from views didn't pick it up. Function object ha has no attribute as view. URL's line 10. Make sure I got this right. Yeah. Made progress. It's a list view. Why? view we're calling that here we're calling article models checklist item class aha we want that to be a class Happier, happier. All right, that's progress. Template does not exist. Checklist items list, okay. We're still, yeah, so URL's coming down here. Okay, so checklist is pointed to this. So checklist list, that's coming here.
And I think we just need to have this as a template. I'm not sure. This has to have that particular name, I think. Exception value checklist checklist item. Let's see if that's what it needs. I got it. So the question is, is this easier to deal with? Hmm. Uh, I need to do a little more research on that because I'm not sure what the difference is between using the generic views and the non-generic views. So let me just I'm gonna back all this stuff out and see if it still works. We didn't change the model at all. Okay. Yeah, so it's just the views, the URLs, and then the template. Yeah, I, I have a feeling we aren't going to want to do the generics. But I don't know enough of a difference between what, what one gives you and what the other doesn't. Um, So URLs, oh wait, yeah, so I wanna just check. So I just took that code out. So it works, why doesn't it show, well, we should make it show stuff, right? Articles for checklist item. I don't actually know. Oh. Item and object list. Ooh, empty. That's neat with a for loop. Oh, that's really neat. I like that. Uh, I actually don't know what's in the... Oops. What the name of the field is. I guess I don't the model. Checklist text. So if we put that, 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 and we go here, and we go here, and we go here, we see it. Okay, cool. All 
All right, so let's just put that in as... So we're going to have urls.py is this. that pie All right, yeah, so I'm gonna have to look and see, do a little research on the difference between those two things. Um, Oh, so what we can do though, also, oh yeah, so I guess, like, well, I guess the other, the other thing to do is, so here we go. Um, at 129.50. Show how to output list using non generic method. So we just did the generic way to do it. We're using the class generics or whatever they're called. Um, now we'll do it without that. So let me blow this stuff away. And we had this. Those go away, and this goes away. And then URLs. This one's alive, we're gonna kill this one. Those go away. So now if we go back here, okay, we're back to, to where we were at the, the start.
Those generic views were certainly handy. I don't know what the... Because it's just taking the data out and throwing it to a template that you've got control of the template. I don't know what the advantage of doing this with the non-generics is. We'll play with it and see if we see anything, and then we'll do some research, but... That certainly seemed handy. Uh, all right, now I gotta go find my other notes. Whoops, not here. You got it. So, now I just need to put our data in it. Um, start with this in your views. All right, so again, I'm gonna look through this. Oh wait, was that it? Start with this in views, then update that to that. Is that really it? Oh, views checklist. Oh yeah, so I had commented that out, so that's okay. So we need to do models. Import that. And throw those in there. Checklist item objects all. gonna work. That was abrupt. I feel like that file might be corrupted. Alright. Nope, still nothing. Here, right? All right, that's there. So why? Okay. What do we do? Checklist items, checklist items, checklist items. Oh, we didn't pass the context. See, starting to figure out what's going on, even though I broke it. Oh, there it is. See, I don't know what the advantage of the generic one is. Because it's got a URL, which ours has URL. It's using a class instead of the function.
and it's got a template, so it's got the output of the template. which we're not actually using yet. Sweet, so that's it. Um, yeah, somebody told me to take a look at those list views and I don't, well, there, there's some other generic views that I think are gonna be helpful. Um, some form stuff maybe, but for the list view, I don't think it makes a huge difference. Um, but that's the list view, cool. Uh, all right, quick break, be right back.
Okay. Got quiet. The song is I feel like partying right now, except it doesn't feel like it's partying. Um, all right, so that's that. Now let's link. One forty-two. I hope those times actually match up with what's on YouTube. Um, so now what we want to do is create the links over to the individual pages. And Django has some opinions about this. Excuse me. So let's actually do this. So this is where results vote. But I want to get to, okay, so we're gonna work with this. So let's do this. Uh, so we're in checklist, right? So if we do this, it should stay the same. but they won't work until we fix them. We make them. Next.
you know what? I'm not even sure if the official tutorial walks you all the way through how to do that stuff. Without uh, without using the admin, like add, create, delete, or whatever. Oh, um, surely it does, but I don't remember seeing it. Um, oh, this is actually handy. So because if you've updated and deleted some of them. Like, I don't want to tell you to go to checklist one right here because checklist one may not exist, um, which would be another reason that it wouldn't be there. But the 404 is to start with. Okay. So. I think I actually have that in my other notes. Oh yeah, this is for testing stuff. This is her some model creation stuff. Yeah, so checklist item. models, checklist items in our model. I couldn't get that structure to work uh, for testing. Set up link and checklist templates was indexed to point to individual checklists first so you see the error. Okay, we just did that. We can hard code, but better find a real way to do it, yeah. Um, Build the template, add the view to the URL. That's how you pass the number. Making the forms. So I want to do a detailed view, which is not what I did the first time through. So this will be new. So we're going to click there. We're going to do this process, right? We want to we want to see an error, and then we want to fix the error. So, or at least make a new error. Next step. So I think the way that we're going to do this is. 
I don't want to, again, I don't want to do three things and then have it magically appear. I want to keep making progress on it. Um, so I think we're going to add this into the URL patterns. This is gonna explode in there, yeah. I'm just kind of speeding through this now. Again, I've got the, kind of the rhythm. So I'll come back, like, there'll be a lot of editing and work, excuse me, that goes into these. So now we've got this. So now we should go to views. Checklist item got unexpected keyword argument checklist item ID. We need that, don't we? Need a Same thing. Template does not exist. Okay. Let's fix this. 
come back here, grab this. New error. And browser. Don't exist. So we're gonna make that. I'm gonna drop that now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop that now. We got notes on that. Gonna save that. Checklist item, HTML. Checklist, templates, checklists. Checklist item HTML, right? That's what we're trying to do. There you go. Make a page at oh, uh, that with. Actually, we don't want to do that. So we're passing the context. Where's our context? Inside our context. Uh, uh, here's where we're gonna have some stuff that we didn't do last time. Uh, Right views that actually do something. So that's a polls index. There's a views render 404 polls detail. It's just a question. Detail question. So, checklist item, get object of 404, checklist item, primary key, that. See it yet, but I just want to make sure it didn't blow up. Ooh, blew up. Uh, that's why I check it every time. Or that's why we should check it every time. I don't always, but it's index. I was just on the page, but maybe it's somewhere else. Shortcut. This is what we want. Let's 
So that's that. Passing that as the context. Which just comes in as a as a top level hash, I think. Right? So if we just do this. And do checklist item, I think it's gonna print out the object. Yep. Dot ID. I should have named these something better. It should have just been at like text or whatever. Um, oh, you know, I wonder. There's no way this works. In Python, that would print you the object. Yeah, not so much. Um, there's probably a way to do it, but checklist item. Text or something like that. We'll check it in a second if that's not it. Hey, no, not it. Uh, 127. Admin, checklist, checklist, checklist. What do we call it? Oh, well, I still gotta look in the view. Never mind. I could just look here. And by view, I mean model. Checklist text. Oh, it's close. Close, close, close. Let's see what that does now. How about you? There we go. So that's the the display view. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to worry about book time stamping this, but is we'll just add in now for our ease of use at the moment. Where's the base? checklist there when we're on a checklist item and go back to the checklist um, super fast when it's on your own machine and not doing anything um, and eight lines of HTML so that gets us in a checklist item cool okay so now so that's that let's uh, actually commit that for once checklist I guess I don't know there's not anything in there is there nope uh, okay so now let's work on our edit view and by one I mean two oh six I'll call it 40 
close enough. Where's our server? There's a the server. All right, so right now, we got a checklist, and our checklist, we've got items. So let's add, well, so let's see what the Django There's like a standard for edit. Where is that? I don't think this had anything on it. Update view. I have a distinct feeling that I'm gonna do a lot of work that this thing does automatically for me, but I kind of want to walk through it anyways. Um, Patterns of views from Wired from 2010. Wow. Gotta look at that. Last time around we installed Django. Wired? Oh yeah, Wired used to have, what was it? WebMonkey? How to start an online business and make money. This used to be It's probably gross now, but yeah, it used to be like one of the like the places where you would go to figure out um, web stuff. Yeah, 2004, 99. There you go. No, 96. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was about to say because I thought it was when I was at Alabama. Yeah, and it was yeah 96. Hopefully it's still cool. Oh, look at all that craziness. No thanks. Working with URLs to Pi. That's ugly. I just want to see if anything shows up as like a. Like a standard. Like I can make my own, but I'm wondering if there's like, you know. You know, top level path and then item number and then slash edit. Probably makes sense. Hmm, edit. History, edit, discuss, permissions. the Mozilla tutorial. Setting up a local library, creating a skeleton using models. Django admin, creating a homepage. Generic list of detail views. Yeah, I think that would have been. Um, ah, whatever, we'll just do edit. So 
here. And checklist item and block. We're going to go. So is this at slash one? Here. Checklist. Item. Edit. And yes, I recognize there's a better way to do that. find a better way to do that. Right now I'm just, that's something I can go research offline. Um, so that gets our edit. Error 4.4. So update URL fix. Update URLs, right? We're getting used to this kind of pattern. Yeah, I have a really distinct feeling that this is going to be a lot of extra work compared to using a generic view, but I want to walk through it. Because doing the generic view just kind of popped it right up. It was awesome. Um, working this is still bust because we don't have a template there oh oh yeah because we have the same template yeah part of me just wants to jump jump back to the generics but like Probably that's just because I'm tired, but um, I want to I want to know how to do it without the generics. Um, even though I wouldn't be at all surprised if I end up using the generics most of the time. All right, so this should explode now, right? Yeah. Browser. So we're missing this. Fix. Add template.
tutorial site, checklist, templates, checklist. I'm glad I look at the directory structure because, whoops, come here. I would miss that. Yes, please. And now, all right, so here is where we need to figure out the form stuff. And this is where, so in, this is where I actually flipped over to the Mozilla dialogue and got their form stuff working because it was much more straightforward. And I'm actually, I don't remember seeing it in here. So I'm going to bounce through this and see. There's more in there than I thought. See if, uh, see if I can find it. Yeah, article list. Yeah, let's see. So they did have they did have the stuff in here. Oh, this is in the documentation. It's not in there. Uh, it's not in the tutorial. Yeah, so results, details, vote. See, this bugs me, because I think the only way that you could put in the questions or whatever to vote on is in the admin. I don't think they give you a way to edit the question in the application itself. Yeah, index page gives you the last, in our pull application, we'll have the following four views. Question index, question details, question results, and vote. There's nothing to actually do an edit. The vote would give you, I'm sure the vote is gonna send data across, so we can use that as our model. form. Let's update our full detail page from last tutorial so that it contains an HTML form element. Form action holds vote. Question ID. Metric post CSRS token for choice. So let's see if we can make this work. Right here, right? I'm not going to worry about putting the template around it right now. Of course I am. Why not? Uh, yeah, we'll leave this up for now. It's fine. Checklist item, checklist item, checklist item, edit. We are editing right now. Edit, checklist item. Uh, let's actually put that here. Except now we actually got to put in the form stuff. Um, it post okay yep 
URLs. So checklist item. Wait, hang on. What's our URLs here? What's our uh, we need an app name in here, I think. Yeah, because that's how you get the name spacing. sure when we need to add that but like there's gonna be a better place to put that in than right now I think but so checklist items or checklist context we're passing over is checklist item ID post. I'm just going to look at the source code of that and see what's actually getting passed at this point, if it works. It works. Form action checklist one edit post okay yeah so that's that's doing the right url um i'm not totally sure how it makes that assembly but that's cool um so it we're gonna pass it back to the same page via post which is a little weird to me but that seems to be the django way of doing things so we'll do it So we need the cross-site request request forgery tag in here. Django won't, uh, which is a good thing. Django doesn't process without it, which is good. So fortress in question, we don't need any of this. We want this. Input type submit update. And then input type text value equals, and we're gonna start with, so what do, uh, checklist item ID, or checklist text. Let's just see what that gives us. There's a new thing. Okay. That's it. Let me get rid of these. Oh, I could have copied it from right there. Uh, okay, so we've got it. Now let's send it somewhere. Selected choice, just as one. Report choice, key error, choice does not exist. Else. Render request detail HTML. Oh, oh, okay. So this is actually going to. 
Sorry, this is on the detail page. Okay, I actually like this even better then. Because poll's vote is going to a different page. I thought they were bouncing it. I thought we were on a vote. I thought we were on vote.html already. Um, but that's not the case. It's bumping up through here. Okay. Okay, so... In views, so in our views. All right, so let's do this. Let's put this back in here. So we've got our working code. Uh, this one. So that's working now. Um, what we actually want to do is point that to, oh my God. Checklist item update, which may freak it out. server too? No? Okay. that. Checklist item update. Wait a minute. Is this one of those where you gotta do this? It is not. Reverse for checklist item update not found. It's not a valid. Oh crap. needs a URL? Does it need a URL? Is that what it is? I bet it does. Here's vote. Where's our URLs? Yep, it gives you vote. I guess you gotta give it a page. Oh no, it doesn't actually have to do anything. There doesn't have to be a, a framework behind it or, or a page behind it. It's just uh
output, and then you'd actually see this error. So we don't actually want to render anything. Update, it goes to update. Context is not defined, that's okay. Depth to post. First checklist item update with arguments not found. One pattern try and checklists. Holy crap. I don't know why that's open. Checklist item ID update. Why didn't that work? Because the pattern knows that's the pattern and it got to update. So it should have the checklist item ID in there, which is here. Oh, is it because something about the other page I was looking for. So we don't need a page here. Um, so how do we want to do this? Let's start with the redirect back. Redirect back, yeah, that's right. So vote, you get the question, select choice, choice does not exist, render, detail HTML question, you didn't select a choice, otherwise selected votes plus one, save, always return that after dealing with successful posts with it. Because it's twice easier to hit the back button, right? So let's just do the bounce first, which we're gonna need HTML or HTTP response redirect. I don't know if we've got HTTP response in there. Oh, that was when they were trying to do stuff with nothing. That didn't make any sense. Um, I need this. Yeah, and so I'm just gonna, I wanna get, again, moving as fast as possible or like working and seeing stuff go as fast as possible. So instead of fighting with the database for a second, I just wanna click a button and have it bring you just right back. It'll bounce through and do a redirect. Um,
and maybe we'll add an error message in there. I don't know. Um, we'll see how this goes. This this is where it gets a little bit like, ah, how, what's the right kind of path of least resistance? So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna drop this in, which is, We're gonna go to the checklist. We're gonna go. That, I think. Oh, no, we need to pull the checklist item, don't we? What should, should just be that. If we're going to question PK equals question ID and they're just getting the ID, it's the same thing. This should work, I think. I don't know why there's a comma after it. I'm gonna leave that there. Feels like that might be important. It's also a lot of parentheses. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, there you go. So we can drop context. Checklist thing, edit, update. Ah, oh, reverse is not defined. From import there to do that. There you go, it's coming right back. Yeah, the other trick with this is I also want to do the generics because, like, if the generic makes it easier to do, so, like, start with the easy thing. Um, and then if you need to go through and edit stuff down or do the more complicated way, that's fine. But don't do not do the complicated way and then go, oh, by the way, you could do it this easy way, too. Like, show the, show the path of least resistance. Um, assuming that you would ever use it. Like, what if it's one of those things that nobody ever uses it? Then no. But, um, but don't... Be like show me all the detail details and then be like oh here's an easy way but like start easy and then be like okay we're gonna take the thing apart and point it out um uh oh turns out we want the server running all right so now let's see if we can make an update So I had Ooh, I thought I had more code in here. Uh oh, I think I threw away some code. Yep, I threw away some code somewhere. Or I just didn't write it down. Uh Okay, we'll figure it out. See, this is looking for trying for a choice, which I don't need that. I just need I just need to do an update. And I think I'm going to do this in a really raw way and then maybe figure out how to do it the safer way. So we need to get the 
models that we want. So in here, uh, where am I going? How about this one? That's also weird from, oh yeah, from dot models. Okay, yeah, so we're getting, we're getting our checklist item. My naming convention is not good for this, but that, that. So let's just see if that still functions. It does. If I was smart, I would open this page in Chrome. I don't know why I haven't been doing that. Just gives me yet another thing to bounce back and forth between. Um, all right, so we've got the checklist item. Selected choice equals tw choice get questions. I mean, I think I understand this, but like, again, good lord. Okay, so I th what I think I can do. So this gets a question. And then selected choice looks at the question and queries and grabs the choices from it. So that, that should be another object. And then down here, it's just adjusting the object and doing a save. So what I'm gonna try is this. This dot, what's the other thing that I always forget? This. That, that equals this is new. Save something, right? I'm not gonna try and worry about pulling the stuff in right now. I'm just seeing if I've got the wires hooked up. Ha, got the wires hooked up. So I'm doing no, oh wait, why? oh wait, there it went. So I'm not doing any safety stuff at all. Um, this is just getting it to work. So now, how do we tell it? So funny, I did pull this song out of there. Wait, or did I? Oh, it's just not sorted. What's going on? I did pull it out of there. Whatever. That is... Music player is just weird and not accurate so we're gonna get it so how do we get okay so request post choice so we're looking for some type of request so the request object is coming in and inside request there's a request.post ah and then what we should find i'm guessing right request post choice is in our edit page, we're actually going to call this this because that should be, if this is intuitive like I believe it is, what we want to load. 
So I'm gonna start here, start here, edit. Is this thing on? Exploded. Uh, bummer. Multi-value dict key error. Post. Checklist text. What if we, all right, I'm just gonna guess. Update. Checklist update text, how about that? Switch to copy and paste you? What is that? Ooh. Post up update. Multi value dict key error. Oh, does it need to be? Select choice. So where is the so where's the HTML? So here's the HTML. Label for choice. Radio input choice. Type radio name choice. I had to make it a name, right? I didn't give it a name. Ha! Okay. Type. Okay. Type, type, type. I need to give it a name. That's what's going on. Type is text name all that jazz let's see if that doesn't work better back up back all the way out do it do it do it hey it worked Yeah, and then it's updated. So if you go back here, you can see it. Um, like it just bounces back so quick, you don't see it flash or whatever. Um, but that does it. All right, let's see what happens if we take that last thing out. It explodes. Must be an interval, not an end. Yeah, so if you gotta have that comma there. Yeah, so that's pretty solid. That's got, so we're in pretty good, oh, yep. There we go. Uh, homepage, about change, checklist, huzzah, do it. Do it. Um, yeah, you could actually bounce that back to this page. Why don't we do that real quick?
Uh, so we should just be able to change that to checklist item, right? Let's gonna be in our URLs. Checklist item is the individual item. See if that doesn't take us back now. Edit. I'm free. There you go. Time for bed. Bid. Uh, and then there's your home page, or there's your that page, it's your home page, back and forth. La 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 la. Let's put this back in here. I think that's pretty solid. Um, yeah, it's in good shape. So I'll, I'll, I want to figure out, I'll, I'll go through this again, kind of after I've figured out how to go through it uh, and know what I'm doing and then do another version where I show it with the generic views. Cause I want to compare those two things and see like which one's easier to do. And then do again, do a little research to see like where people's heads are at with, do you do generic view stuff or do you do non-generic view stuff because the generics are just tough to work with if you try and do anything other than what they want you to do, um, which happens in some uh, frameworks and languages. If you if you do its base, you're fine as long as you only want to do what's in the base. But as soon as you try and like make one addition or one change, you can't um, or it's really difficult. So it's worth it just to build your own stuff. Um, but that's always a balance with framework stuff. So. Um, but I think this is this is pretty solid in terms of we've got our main page. We can see our individual items. Collectively, we can edit them. So the last so list is one thing, but then we don't have create. We've got update. See our create read. So create and read. Right. We we can we can't create it, but we can read it and we can update it, but we can't delete it. So we need to do the last two, the create and the, the delete. Um, and then we'll have the full set of CRUD, create, read, update, delete. Um, that is how all of this stuff goes. Um, and then that, and then doing the, the last piece that we'll add into it is uh, having two objects talk to each other, or multiple objects talk to each other. So doing joins. Um, the once, once you kind of have all those parts, that's the core mechanics of just about everything you'll do. Because it's create, read, update, delete with one object or with multiple objects combined and then the relationships between them. And that can get really complicated. It does get really complicated. But that's, that's the core mechanics. Like once you know how to do that, you can basically do everything. I, I can't think of anything that you can't do. I can't think of anything else that you would need to do at this layer of the stack um, that would be required for that. Um, I mean, you've got some direct, you know, if you want to talk directly to the database, sure. But um, yeah, so that's that's in pretty good shape. Uh, okay, so we'll leave it there. Um, something's in my mouth now, all of a sudden. Uh, have a good one, take it easy, take care. Uh, we'll see you next time and uh, be kind. <laughs>